Hello my friends, Bayani here. In this video I'm just gonna show you how to make a planter. I just have some extra wood in here and I just plan to make a plant with this wood. This is a cedar fence so I just took them apart because they just take space here in my shop. I just want to use them up. I just set up the, the way I want the, the size of the planter box because I'm gonna need about 60 feet for this one. And I just square it out like you guys can see. Both sides is squared out. And then I square this side in here too. You guys can see all square. That way you have a square box. And then I just decide to go this model I show you. I just put some board there just to start it. And uh, as far as I go, tools that I go to do the job I have few drills I have a I have nail gun in there I have the other nail gun For that one I have a three inches nails this one I have inch and three eighths and I have a, the drill bits in there Philippis for material yeah I just use this finishing nails and then you have this one that is very much rust proof if you don't have a gun you can use nails like this one you can see they all have a coat to protect them not to get rusted and I have the drill there just so I have some options to do it and I just gonna show you because I just try to organize my shop in here and I need to use some material so the material that I have is all cedar they all packed in there they will just take space on this area a lot of space so I decide to take them apart and make use of them at the same time I just keep my place a little bit uh, organized and now to here I have uh, another planter that I just put in here on the garage like you guys can see here this one I just uh, did the other day I use screws uh, you can see the screws start to get a little bit brown and all this I'm doing is just a uh, leftover material not spend much money and here I just uh, move up the pipe from the gutter that way the water will just drip right inside of it still a little bit uh, cold to plant stuff but then I just um, gonna you set it up that way I don't have to water the planter the water just come in from the heavens like you guys can see there I have the plastic inside that way it keeps some of the moisture otherwise the moisture will just run away let's work on that one and I show you guys I just made this this thing here that way it work for me that way I have the wood all the same size and then uh, all I do, I just gonna fit it right there. You guys can see in there. Once I have it there, I have the same measurement for the board. Another thing, let me show you. Like you guys can see in here, once I put my board, I don't have to worry that it's not gonna be straight because I just gonna put my board in there. And it's just gonna stop here, so this work few ways, different ways. Even though if I want to push this up, not gonna go up, not gonna be gonna be straight with the board. All right, let's get a thing, this thing done and get working. I hope you guys can see from there. See, when I put the board, this part here just not gonna allow it to go up. This part here is the same measurement as the one by four in there, so it just fit tight. You see how it fit? Even if I I put the board underneath gonna stop right there like you guys can see even if I try to push it up not gonna go up so this is a nice little piece that work very good and I could use just uh, small guys to for the to nail it on right so you guys can see I just come from here the board up I can press it up because I have just a small nails I can uh, hold good in there, the nail not gonna hit my hand. And then I come with one piece like this one. I'm gonna do it here, I'm gonna flip it over later on, that way you guys can see. It. And then here on the bottom, because I have a 2x4 there, a real 2x4, you can use this other nail, that way I have a it little holding better. Oh, I could just use some screws, leftover dry oil screws. Sometimes you have get mixed up on the pouch and the stuff, you just throw them out. So I just use them to do a little bit project when I don't have to be too crazy about size or anything like that. This one here, they have most of it inch and a quarter screws. So I just gonna can use a screw gun too. If you don't have a nail gun, I'm just gonna use a screw gun. I can just put a, like a few few screws in there just to hold it on right and if you just do from the inside that way you don't see screws from the outside work very good for the bottom of the box just to explain for you I just gonna do something like this 
This one gonna be where I gonna do the drain hose and then I was to have uh, about this much of water on the bottom that way if I'm not able to get water on plant on time they just have some water there that would last them a few weeks so the same way for this one here on the bottom this one here on the bottom I'm just gonna nail it on nothing too crazy just a few small nails and this one here, I'm just going to use the longer house with the snow gun. Yeah guys, I just turned this way that the way you, you guys can see. So once I have this gig in here, done that way, I'm just going to remove it like that. I'm just going to move for the next row one right and then in how we go and then just uh, keep going just gonna flip it over again that way it's a little bit easier to work let's do the square part in here as you can see i just try to keep everything nice and square the same way when i am doing the corner i'm just gonna use a couple pieces like that one it'll be something just like that right and then I just come in here and I just gonna nail it on. Yeah guys, so here we go. My plant is pretty much set up. I just gonna cut those pieces of there. Guys you guys see cut it. I put few screws in there, I prefer to put the screws because uh holds a little bit better than the nails, right? I use some screws just on the main point that way make sure it is uh holding it all together. I just can just make a straight line, see? I'm not even gonna put the square there if I put works too, because the box is a square. Usually I like to regulate it just to cut the same size as the board, so I'm just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna lock it up, that way I don't make too much damage, and there we go. Yeah guys, I'm just use this screw, it's a self-drilling screws to work that way I don't have to pre-drill the, the wood. I have the drill there if I need to. I use a regular screw. So I just gonna put a few screws because here I have the 2x4 in there, so I just gonna put some screws down here. Just to make sure that the corner is nice and strong. You guys can see the screw make a big difference compared with the nails, so the screws is all the time help. And in case if this one is not very solid in there, I could use a screw. This guy here, the life save, save a lot of time, because once you put it, you just bang, 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 fit it in there, like you guys can see, you have support on this part, that way the board doesn't come up, you just don't have to think. And the size, all the same size. Yeah guys, here I am with my box. This guy here was a very much a lifesaver. Saved me a lot of time. Just put it on, move it on, right? Work very good. In and move it, move to the next one. We had uh, everything straightened up. On the corner here I just put a few extra screws that way it would hold better. Because sometimes the finishing nails that don't hold that good, right? So here we go. Now I'm gonna put the plastic. It's just a, a regular vapor bear. Just what I had here laying around. I'm just gonna open this guy up. And I have this little pieces in here that I'm just gonna put on top. At the same time, it helps to hold. Just cut the poly, whatever I have left over poly, just clean it up. Gonna show you guys inside here. Yeah, guys, I just put that mesh down there. That way the plus doesn't move when I make the holes. So I'm just use some small screw. I'm gonna just to, just to hold this mesh in place. Otherwise, the drain hole and the plus could move with the soil. It would be out of the way. Yeah, my friends, I just put this mesh down. That way we have hold the plus in place. Nothing much, just a regular mesh. 
which I just had it kicking around in here. And this is what is it for, nothing more, nothing less. If I don't do that, once I make my drain hose, and then gonna be out of place, the pole would move when the, with the weight of very much, you see. And now I just gonna make hose. I'm not make, uh, gonna make a small hose. That way the thing would drain good. You see here I have the big space, like I would have about one inch or a little bit more of water sit on the bottom. That way if, if it doesn't rain for some time, the plant is still survive because you still have water on the bottom. And I do just gonna try to use, do my plants without uh, the extra water, just the rain water that what I'm planning to use on this box. Like you guys see, top is there, like I mentioned, this piece here was pretty much a lifesaver. Oh no, I can't fit it because I put this piece on top in here. But this piece of uh, that I made in here just saved me a lot of time. And this is how it looks. And the bottom, I have the piece on the bottom a little bit high, that way the water would run underneath because this is gonna go on top of the paving. It is a kind of big and gonna be have once with the soil, but this is the intention because I am doing this this just is some area that I don't want uh, people to be driving so I just have to make about eight of these boxes or until my material finish because all I'm doing this is just to use the material up to I have the material kicking here taking out my space and I need to clean the shop in here and then I just gonna make them up use it up for two things one thing I clean the shop and the other thing I have the area that I don't want people to be driving protecting I have some flower or some vegetables probably I would go vegetable this is why I'm making it all on a cedar that way it's no treatment it's just a raw cedar treated dude is not recommended if you're gonna grow vegetable yeah my friends so I have uh, seven of those box so far probably would work because the, the space that I have is about 60 feet so I have seven that is a uh, little bit over six feet and then I can make a space between the boxes so here we go you look at it, we have the poly or egg pole inside and I have the drain hose. On the bottom of the box, just uh, put few little pieces of uh, wood. That way I have a space, about three quarter inch space from the floor. That way the box would not touch the floor, the asphalt and uh, last a little bit long and allow the water just to run through underneath it. Just wait when the asphalt is red. Just uh, move them up and put them on the right spot. Okay guys, I love you. Leave your comment, ask your question and see you soon.